What's good, everybody? It's the clans yet again, coming at you with another morning video. And uh, today, I just wanted to break down uh, my process of restructuring distilled water. And uh, essentially, it is about pulling up the pH uh, anywhere from about 7.5 all the way to 9.5. Of course, this um, this particular uh, chart doesn't go up that high, but um, I believe that this one does. And I actually have two charts with two different purposes um, or two different ways of measuring the pH. But essentially, that's what we're going to be doing today. And, you know, there's a million and one ways to get this done. But I just wanted to show you uh, what I've been experimenting with to accomplish this. So on the right hand side, as you can see, we have the gallon of distilled water that I distilled last night. And I want to show you where it currently stands. Now, when I dip this uh, measuring stick into the water, it takes about 10 to 15 seconds to pop up where it stands pH wise. Let's see, I know it's very acidic, I'll tell you that much. Let's see. So, yeah, point being, as you can see, it's really acidic, it's supposed to be down here. Okay, so what I normally do is I take these trace minerals with ionic fulvic acid. So there's about 72 naturally occurring trace minerals. All right. And you're supposed to add apparently about 20 to 40 drops into a uh, gallon. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, nine, oh no, see, I knew that was gonna happen, hold on. <laughs> Always gets down to the last drop, like Maxwell House. 1920. All right, so add 20 drops of these minerals into the distilled water. I take uh, some type of stirring utensil, stir it up a little bit. All right, and you know, I can take one of these pH diagnostic test strips, as they are called. And test how acidic it is on the scale again. Um, unfortunately, I have discovered that, oh my goodness, we have a little critter coming through. What's up, baby? I'm just doing some experimentation, baby, on the water. Oh, uh, well, I'm sure that people want to know. That's why. You want to come experiment with me? Okay. So... On the scale, after putting in the ionic minerals, we could see that it's still very, very acidic. And I was gonna say that actually the minerals, when I put them in there, it becomes even more acidic, which I find kind of strange considering that they are advertised as a way to balance out the pH. So maybe I just have a misunderstanding of how these things work, but the truth is, that I can't restructure the water and pull it up to a balanced pH just with the minerals alone. What I have to do is I literally have to come and take some alkaline powder water, or excuse me, powder water, just the alkaline powder, all right? And in a gallon, you know, you could add a lot, but pretty much what we're gonna do is actually uh, experiment with it a little bit because last time I pulled up the pH to I think about mm, 8.5 to nine or something like that. And um, that's great and all, but it really tasted strong. You know, you could really taste the alkaline. So what I'm gonna do is, is I'm gonna kind of add alkaline powder bit by bit, and we're gonna test out uh, to see if I could pull it up to a reasonable pH, uh, but you know, hopefully without uh, adding so much alkaline to reduce that flavor. So. Anyway, so I'm adding about a tablespoon. 
no, actually, excuse me, this isn't a tablespoon. This is a, a teaspoon of alkaline powder, all right? So I add that in there. And again, I'm gonna stir it up with my real professional complex stirring scientific utensil, otherwise known as a knife. And stir it around real good if you can. Let's get a, another one of these pH measuring sticks. And let's see where it is now. Dip it in there. Wait about 15 seconds. And while we wait, I just wanna explain that I'm also going to measure it with um, liquid drops, which basically you add a few drops into water and it will pop up on the scale. It, it will change the color of the water to where it stands on the pH. So basically we're aiming for it to change to, you know, anywhere from here. Wait, can you see me? Anywhere from here to here, okay? So anyway, wanted to explain that while it pops up on this measuring stick, how pH it is, how alkaline it is. And we could see that, see it changed and it is fairly alkaline. It is, let's see, pull it back a little bit. Um, yeah, we're getting there. So we're about, about 8.0. 8.0, 7.5. Okay, so we're good, I would say. Um, again, you know, up to your discretion on how alkaline you want it to become. You know, I, I know that, you know, 7.5, 8.0 is perfectly okay. You know, but some people, um, you know, there's brands out there, I believe the brand is called Essential Water. And actually that advertises it as 9.5 and that's perfectly fine as well. Um, so let's, uh, let's do something a little different though. Let's uh, measure the pH with these uh, drops. Okay, so I'm gonna pour it into this cup, pour a little bit of the water that I just restructured. As you can see, the water's in there, all right? And what you do is you add four drops of these, this pH drops, one, two, three, four, all right, okay. And it has changed colors, as you can see. Actually, I'm gonna pour it in here just so we make this a little easier. Just give me one moment. All right, so that's really hard to tell actually. So let me just, let me, this is how you're supposed to measure it, but it's really hard to tell the color from that angle, but basically it's this color right here. All right, as you can see. So if you compare it to this scale, you can see it's about an 8.0, which is perfectly fine. And I'm gonna leave it there, man, because like I said, I added more the other day, I added more alkaline into the distilled water. And um, you know, that was perfectly okay. Uh, it just tasted a little strong, which doesn't bother me, but it bothers my girl a little bit, you know, cause she's, you know, she's really not used to you know, this whole type of mad scientist persona that I'm pulling off apparently, but it's okay. Cause you know, this is all about finding what works best for you. And let me just pull up again, this, uh, this measuring stick. So actually on this, yeah, on this, uh, yeah, it looks like we're pretty good, man. On a scale, you know, 8.0, 8.5. So that's perfect. All right. And um, there is this, philosophy, you know, that I actually um, believed at one point that like you could have distilled water by itself and like that's supposed to be healthy. Um, I, like I said, I'm, I could only go off of my observation and my experience and also the um, experiments that I conducted, but I don't really understand how drinking water that is this acidic, where are we at? That is this acidic, right? Because this is the first 
um, measuring stick I pulled off of freshly distilled water is healthy. I, I don't understand how, you know, drinking water that that is this acidic um, can be beneficial for your health. I, I'm not really sure how that works, but, you know, again, um, I'm sure that there are people out there that have had wonderful experiences drinking distilled water or else they wouldn't co-sign it, you know, or else they wouldn't adamantly believe so strongly that it does work. But for me personally, you know, this is what I do. I restructure distilled water and I like the process of pulling up just uh, what would be considered completely still water into something that is now alive and full of essential minerals that could provide me with more strength, more um, longevity and uh, energy. So this is the finished product right here, people. I'm gonna enjoy it. And I um, wish you well in everything that you do. So holla at me if you got any questions and uh, we'll go from there. All right now, it's the cleanse.